orange. So today we're gonna take a look at Ashley Woods, Tomorrow Kings, sorry, it's a very long name. Um, Smirking Master One Joden, Ultra TK. So this is an exclusive figure. A uh, very weird story about this guy. I found him in a weird car repair shop area thing. Um, the, this guy's store was like above a car repair shop area and his store was a complete mess. And I was able to find this guy in like a pile of piles and piles of boxes. The only thing that stuck out was this logo. So when I dug him out, I saw it was this guy and I picked him up. Uh, he was uh, he was expensive, unfortunately. <laughs> Even though the seller just tossed him aside in the corner in his little dusty shop, he knew what he had, so that was eh. So yeah, as you can see, he does have an exclusive figure there. Now this is number two. Uh, the first one, his shirt is orange. This guy has a black shirt. I think that's the only difference between the two really. So yeah, with that being said, let's take a look at this figure. And here he is, Mr. TK Joden himself. Now he does have this weird mold look on him. He is not moldy at all. This is the way he looks. I mean, I was kind of freaked out when I saw him out of packaging as well. But rest assured, this guy is not moldy. <laughs> so he's a pretty standard uh, TK figure. Same articulation as every TK Ashley Wood N3A uh, release. But he does have this unique look. Like this bag is unique only to this guy. This bag accessory here. And his head sculpt is also a little different from the rest. But apart from that, honestly, he looks like every other TK out there. So yeah, let's take a closer look. So here's a closer look at Mr. Joden himself. And as you can see, like I said, this isn't really mold. This is his little paint apps on his clothing. Ah, uh, yeah. Again, standard TK body, TK articulation. And when I say TK, I mean Tomorrow Kings. Tomorrow Kings is a standard character-ish type figure Ashley Wood uh, releases. Now, from what I understand from TK guys, um, Tomorrow Kings is their clones. And they're bred to kill zombies, monsters, and robots for corporations or something. But, you know, I could be wrong. Again, uh, Ashley Wood has this thing where information is scarce about the whoop, the <laughs> figures he releases, especially this guy. I don't really know the story behind him. I wish I did. I mean, I did try to research. I really did, but there really isn't a lot on him. Uh, yeah, so that's him. Maybe let's take a look at all his accessories. Grenade, 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 sword, gun, scarf, hand, 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 hand. So here's the stuff the TK Jordan comes with. Quite a bit of grenades there, so let's speed this along a bit. Uh, first we have the samurai sword. Now this is an orange, more orange than red colored sheath. So you got, what do you call, weathering, paint apps is all there, standard um, ashy wood weathering. You could see the the little detail in the, like, how they stitched it. This is held together by pleather. I loosely hang this on the figure. I don't really distress it too much, so it's, it should be fine. And yeah, that's retracted. So this is the hilt. Pretty standard sword, really. It is very, very um, flexible, so it might break if it falls off a shelf. It's very flimsy, you know. 
So yeah, that's a pretty standard sword, really. Yep. So yeah, that's his little little sword. Next, we got his little pew pew gun here. It's a very weird looking gun, really. It's like it's being it's chopped off. You got the bullets there. It does rotate. He holds it very well. Paint apps is nice. I wish they would have maybe painted the handle because now it just looks like one piece of plastic. But you know what? You don't really see the handle when he's holding it anyway, so that should be fine. So yeah, this is his little little gun. His little weird looking gun. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. So let's take a look at his grenades. These are pretty standard grenades you get from TK or Ashley Wood figures. It's nothing to really look into with a magnifying glass, truthfully. This, that's it, this is grenades. I don't know if this is a grenade or some sort of smoke bomb. I Again, I don't really know the whole lore for these Tomorrow Kings and 3A comics. But yeah, this is one of his grenades, one of many. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight. So ten grenades, and these unique grenades. Now this is a unique grenade only to this figure, according to my limited knowledge of three oh bird, three A figures. <laughs> no bird, go away. <laughs> I have a tree outside my apartment and birds just flock there so making reviews you know it gets on my nerves when they when they freak out like that but you know what they're just birds what do they know so let's moving on this is a grenade only unique to this figure according to my knowledge and finding these loose on eBay if you want them loose if you want this set will set you back maybe 50 bucks so yeah if a particular item is only specifically meant for that figure then the price will be up there that's the standard with Ashley Wood figures so take a look at the hands so we got some chopping or saluting hands you got the standard flat fingered Ashley Wood fingers so like his gloves they're, they're both painted differently in a way I mean the weathering and all and they are sticky because Ashley Wood uses this glob of paint. I don't know why it gets sticky over time. But as long as you don't fudge with it, as long as you keep these figures in a, you know, dust-free environment where dust doesn't stick to them, it should be fine. So you got some pointing hands. Let's get some pointing hands. You got two sets of each finger. For each finger, each hand, sorry. That bird kind of threw me off. I was in the I was in the groove, but then so yeah, painted differently but sculpted nicely. Then we got his. I guess these are his relaxed hands. It could be his tri another trigger finger. Let's see. Oh god. So yeah, this painted differently. What is up with this camera? What's wrong with you? Hey, please. Do -do, yeah, so that's his, I guess, relaxed trigger hands, and then you get the hands he comes with out of the box. His relaxed hands. Now these are relaxed hands. Could be trigger hands too if you want. Who am I to judge? So they all, each hand is painted differently. They each have this hand painted look to them, which makes them unique. Do -do -do. And finally, you got his scarf. Do, do, do. Uh, pretty, you know, flimsy scarf, really. It's just... <laughs> no, I don't know what to say about this. It's just a bunch of cloth, really. It's got some paint apps, I guess. It's kind of tattered. He wrapped this around his neck, I guess, to hide his neck joint, which, you know, looks kind of cool. Very unique to this figure. There are other figures with scarves, you know, but this acts like a nice, you know, cover for some part. So he doesn't look so empty. He doesn't look so barren. So yeah, this is a scarf. Um, yeah. Cool. So let's stick all this junk on him. Doop. 
So here's Mr. Jordan himself all loaded up. This took a good while to stick all the grenades on him. But this is again standard, standard, you know, look for Ashley Wood TK 3A figures. I mean, they load them up with all these grenades on them. I mean, I don't think you're supposed to, I mean, for me, I don't think I was supposed to put all these grenades on them. But you know what? I like loading all my figures up with all the accessories they come with. So yeah, this is very nice. Again, a very weird find for me in a very weird area in my country. Uh, a, 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 like a storeroom shop place above a car repair shop in the middle of nowhere. It was dusty. It was below like boxes of boxes of like Kamen Rider, Power Rangers, you know, all those Japanese figures. But this guy was like on the bottom. So I was pretty happy I was able to save this guy. Um, he's not a particularly old figure. He came out in, I think, early 2019. So yeah, he's pretty, he's a pretty young figure. He's not as old as most of the TKs that are out there. But you know, because he's an exclusive, yeah, his prices will, will be up there unfortunately but if you have a chance to get him i encourage you to get him because he he is more he is the most unique tk out there i mean uh, most of the tks out there kind of look the same over time but this guy looks kind of looks unique so let's take a closer look at this guy so here's a closer look at the tk Jordan himself you can see all the weathering all the dirt on his face on his hair scarf the mold like textures on his shirt again this isn't mold this is this is basically how it looks like so you got his grenades there a little shooty shooty gun there don't know if i mentioned that he has like a little Ugh, if I could focus. He has like a little cross there. So I guess religion plays a part in this universe. Somehow. I wish I knew how it plays a part in this universe. There's grenades here. I basically just clipped them onto his shirt. Pretty easy to do. So I got some extra grenades just hanging there. I mean, this does look like mold. But it really isn't, which is, you know, it's kind of fascinating to me how they did that. He's a pretty dirty guy. You got his grenades. I basically linked them up on this little wallet bag chain thing. Got his holster there for his little pew pew gun. So far, his pleather is holding up because he is a young figure so I don't think the pleather degradation will happen anytime soon but it might happen sometime in the future so I clipped one of his grenades there I mean there is no real way to clip these grenades on I just think what looks best so yeah this is him very very nice again there is a second version of this guy uh, here, the picture here, you can see he has an orange shirt. As far as I can tell, he looks basically the same. He comes with the same stuff, but I could be wrong. So yeah, this is him. So let's stick him on the shelf. And this is where I'll stick him. A shelf that's directly above my workstation, my work desk with his little three buddies there. Uh, yeah. I stuck him with this guy because they have the same hair color, I guess. <laughs> Trying to match him up. But yeah, this is him. The TK Joden himself. Uh, I might review this guy next. He's a pretty interesting guy. So yeah, with that being said, uh, thanks for watching. And... Hmm. Go get him.